What's going on everybody? It's Roll Easy here and today, tonight I should say, I'm back with a really cool video, something I've never done before. This is a video on how to merge components using the director mode glitch or as in this case the SP to MP glitch. Now here are the things you need to know about this. All right, so we're gonna be transferring outfits, outfits back and forth from male to female, female to male. This is just how this is done. Now, if you do this properly, you can save some outfits that you have. If you have checkerboard outfits and things like that on your main character, uh, when we transfer everything from the male to the female, they'll all still stay there, okay? I had a bunch of checkerboard outfits and all of them are still there. Now, things that don't transfer are green purple uh, joggers I think orange ones don't tr don't transfer as well so you will lose those uh, my black joggers when I transferred those they turned green for some reason so there are some little things that can happen here but if you want to start making a bunch of merge outfits which, which is what I'm doing I don't mind losing you know a few of my other ones or even all of them but most of mine are all checkerboard made from the apartments glitch if you've done that you've already lost all those outfits anyways so might as well start merging and I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do this if you have regular saved outfits on your main character once you transfer these over and then bring the other ones back you'll probably lose those as well but like I said if you got checkerboards you're good uh, checkerboards will go back and forth uh, tan black joggers gray red white blue if you got those from you know before they patched them those all transfer back and forth as well okay so I'm gonna be showing you guys right here some footage uh, I'm going to be walking into my closet and I'm going to show you guys what I've been working on all day today. Since I posted my first video, all I've been doing is working on this merge glitch and uh, I've been learning myself as well. And I do believe that I have learned uh, a fair amount and enough to actually teach you guys how to merge. Okay, I think I've gotten a good grasp on it and I wanted to share that knowledge with all of you. So in a moment here, I'll be making my way into the closet and I'm going to show you the outfit that I've been working on. When I did the apartment glitch, I got these aqua camo joggers. Uh, it's a component on the female outfit. Okay, so I'm going to show you right here once I click on outfits and I go down to the blue joggers. You see that? I made that outfit uh, from the female. Now I put Tron shoes already. I'm going to show you how to merge. Uh, and you can merge Tron shoes with this, the race gloves, but we're going to be doing race gloves in this tutorial. But you merge the Tron shoes the same way. But you see all those other outfits, the juggernaut, the checkerboard, all those go back and forth because the components are already on the female. Okay, so they transfer back and forth, no problem. I don't lose them on here because all the components are already on the female character. All right, so uh, yeah, as you can see right here, I got Tron shoes on, but no gloves. I'm going to show you guys how to merge the race gloves, which is the same process for merging the Tron shoes. Okay, so I had already done this whole video basically just on Tron shoes. Now I'm going to do the whole video again on the, uh, you know, on the uh, race gloves. Okay, so once you've got your outfit ready to go, you know, we're going to be merging. I have to race, I, or I have Tron shoes, so... Uh, I need to transfer those over to my female. So we need to do the glitch to transfer my male outfits over to the female, which means I need to swap to my female character, get in place for this SP to MP glitch, you know, um, so that I can be right next to the uh, peyote. I'm doing the normal thing right here, you know, I'm just getting the, uh, the save icon so that I can end up spawning right next to the, uh, you know, right next to the peyote so I can eat it real quick and then leave session once I have everything saved. And then the last character, as you can see that I was, was my female, which means when we do the glitch, I'm gonna be picking the male character and then those outfits are gonna transfer over to the female, okay? So that's the name of the game. Right now, we are transferring those, uh, those outfits, the one that I had with the aqua camo joggers along with the Tron shoes, I need to take that outfit and bring it over to the female so that I can add some stuff on the female. All right, sounds confusing, I know, but just follow along with me here, okay? So basically now I do the glitch. I'm at the point now where I've already done the glitch, I ate the peyote and I hit swap character, all right? I hit that glitch, all right, that was it. Now I'm at this point right here in the swap character room. Once we're in the, uh, the mugshot room, I pick on the male character. Remember, we're trying to get those outfits onto the female. So that means I need to pick on this one. And once I pick on my male character, we're gonna time out. All right, I've already done the glitch. We're gonna time out right here, coming up very, very soon. All right, there we go, I've timed out. This is now where you do the whole delete save game data, L1R1 if you're on PS4 and load back into online, okay? 
Now I've loaded back into online after I did the glitch. I am my female character. Check your outfits. You see Blue Joggers is right there. That was the name of the outfit that we're working on, but I'm actually trying to click it right now and I can't click on it, okay? We we don't have access to that because I have Tron shoes on there. There's, there's, there's you know, items on there that G, uh, Rockstar doesn't want us to access. Because I have the Tron shoes on there, what I need to do now is go ahead and start Crooked Cop. So go to Online, Jobs, Play Jobs, Rockstar Created, and go ahead and go to Versus, and go to Crooked Cop. Now you do need either a friend, or you can even use a random. I had a friend uh, before doing it with me, he had to go, so I ended up just staying you know, in the lobby, and then I ended up finding some randoms. But when you get into Crooked Cop, make sure you go to Clothing, and set it to Player Owned, just like you saw me do right there. And then now, I proceed to, you know, just start inviting people, and I end up actually getting a random in here to, uh, to come in and actually, you know, help me out with this. You know, never talked to him before, just a random. Sometimes you can get one guy, all right? Remember, you don't have to be in here too long, so shout out to Flip Candy 420 whoever that is, all right? Uh, he helped me out without even knowing it. So once we're here, go ahead and go left once, and then blue joggers, all right? Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, you want the outfit that you're gonna be merging to be saved on the last slot, okay? It does help to be saved on the last slot, all right? So now that I've selected that, just hit ready to play, and now there we go. That was the outfit with the Tron shoes. As you can see, the, uh, the feet are completely invisible, okay? That's because the Tron shoes are actually there, but you don't see them here in the female character. So now that we're here in the job, I have access to the outfit that I previously didn't. I'm gonna put a mask on right here. This may not be necessary, but I'm doing it just in case, just to make sure that I can go out of here and I just quit the job from my phone, just like that. Simple as that. Now I spawn back, I got these weird shoes on. It's just, it's okay, the Tron shoes are still saved. So now you wanna go to Rockstar Created Missions and start up a Titan of a Job. Once you've started up a Titan of a Job, this part is solo, you only needed a friend for Crooked Cop. I got my invisible feet back, okay? And now we're actually going to be merging well, we're not merging yet, but we need to put on the components to merge the race gloves, okay? So I need to go to the Light Woodland Tactical Gloves, okay? The Light Woodland Tactical Gloves are the merge component to put on race gloves, okay? So now I'm just going to put those on and then go ahead and save the outfit from in a Titan of a job, all right? So now I have the merge component. This is the bridge that's gonna allow us to put on race gloves, okay? I'm just gonna save it twice, just in case, you never know. I did all this work, I don't wanna do it all again. So now that we're at this point, go ahead and quit out of Titan of a Job, all right? So I got my race or my race gloves component, which is the Light Woodland Tactical uh, Gloves on, and now we are ready. I just wanted to take that weird mask off, so I saved it, uh, just like that. So now we're ready to do the glitch again, but first we have to go back to our male character, okay? This is the process we have to do now. We're gonna have to switch over and bring the female outfits, the one that we just put the merge component on, we have to bring the female outfits over to the male again, which means I need to pick my male character, my main one, and now you see I need to set him up to get ready to do the glitch. Okay, so I'm gonna get myself in position here the same way we did with the female before. So basically, you see we have to transfer outfits back and forth, which means you have to do the glitch twice to get one merge component on. All right, each merge component, Tron shoes, if you wanna do that, you gotta go back and forth twice. For race gloves, you gotta go back and forth twice. That's just how this glitch is. All right, if there's a way to merge multiple components on at the same time, I'll try to figure it out at another time, but this is the way that I know how to do it now. All right, so now that we're at this point, we're getting the little save icon, you know, at the bottom right so that we can get our position good. And I'm just going to go ahead and leave GTA. Okay, and now I'm going to proceed to do the glitch. So once I spawn back in as Michael, you know, I'm going to get shot at the, or, you know, go shooting, get the one star and do the whole glitch, yada, yada, yada. And then we end up at the swap character. I've eaten the peyote, you know, I really quick went back to swap character and boom, now we're in the mugshot room. Okay, so now we have to pick the female character. I'm picking the female character so that we can time out and now her outfits, the one we just made with the merge component, the gloves, that is gonna transfer over to the male now, okay? Once we timed out here, boom. Now you do the save game data, all that stuff. Now we're back in, we've done the glitch twice already, we're good, I'm back on my male character, okay? So now that I'm back on my male character, we should check the outfit has transferred, all right? Now that the outfit has transferred, you see it right there, blue joggers, all right, I'm gonna get to it real soon after I just save this outfit real quick. But uh, yeah, I can't actually click on it. Once again, we don't have access to it because it has components on there that Rockstar doesn't want us using. So what you're gonna do now, before you start Crooked Cop, we need to get 
the uh, race gloves that we're going to be merging onto the new outfit. Okay, you see we don't have access to it. I'm trying to click on blue joggers right now. I don't have access. All right, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to put on the race suit. Okay, right now I think I just was wondering which outfit I should uh, put on, and then I was like, okay, yeah, I got to put on the race uh, the race suit with the uh, with the race gloves on. So I'm going to go ahead, go down to uh, biker suits. And I'm putting on those race gloves right there that you see. I could put on any one of those race gloves, all right? We put on the merge component for the gloves already. So whatever gloves you pick, that's what we're going to be putting on. All right, so now we're at the point where we need to start up Crooked Cop again. Remember, we can't access the Blue Joggers outfit, so we need to start up Crooked Cop. All right, so now go to Not Titan of a Job, go to Versus, and we're going to start up Crooked Cop right here. Once again, you can either invite your friends over to this or just wait for a random. I got really lucky in making this video. I ended up finding a few randoms to actually help me out. So here we go. Make sure to set it to uh, clothing right there, player owned. That's the most important thing. And then go ahead and start it up once you have another person in there. Shout out to Darce. All right. Now go ahead and go left once to blue joggers and boom right there you saw that the the gloves actually merged on to my outfit just like that that's why you want your saved outfit in the ninth slot or the last slot and now check it out i still have my tron shoes from before and now i have the race gloves or the biker suit gloves that we use for the merge component that's how this works okay and now this one i know is necessary you do need to at this point go ahead and put on a mask and then now you can quit out of the job. If you don't put on a mask, then you're gonna end up spawning out of the job and you won't have the components, so you, won't, you might not have access to it. Uh, yeah, just make sure you put on a mask and there we go. We're back in a regular session now. I'm gonna go ahead and save the outfit just like this. And boom, we have our race gloves now with the Tron shoes. We've successfully merged the race gloves. Now, at this point, I wanted to do a few more things. So I went to accessories. I wanted to kind of change the mask and you can throw on, you know, some body armor or something. You know, the body armor right here. Uh, well, not right here, but I'm about to put on some body armor just to make it look a little bit, you know, more menacing, I guess, more attack like. Uh, so you can throw on any sort of body armor right here. And uh, there we go. I got the body armor on and I'm going to go ahead and save it just like this. So once we've saved it, that is a pretty cool outfit, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm gonna show you how to make it even cooler. Now, I wanted to add on a few more things. You know, I thought this looked nice. Unfortunately, we cannot do the CEO body armor anymore. Rockstar has patched that, so CEO body armor is out of the question, but we can do uh, some really cool things still with this outfit. You just gotta be a little creative. So what I'm gonna do now is actually go over to my apartment. Once I'm at my apartment now, I've already purchased the uh, the deadline suit. Uh, you know, obviously for the blue ones, that's how you had to get the uh, these gloves or sorry, these um, these shoes, the Tron shoes. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my deadline blue outfit. All right, so I'm scrolling down here, deadline, and I'm gonna pick the blue one right there. Once I've gotten the blue one, just equip it and go ahead and run over, and we're gonna do the telescope glitch now. All right. Once we've done the telescope glitch, which is right over here, you just want to run by it and smash right on the D-pad, pull away and open up your interaction menu. So right there, I smash right D-pad, I pulled away, pulled up my interaction menu, there we go. So right here, I'm going to fast forward. Uh, I just started scrolling through all the glasses and stuff. I don't know why, I just wanted to kind of see what I had uh, in stock. So uh, yeah, now, once I've done, done that, I'm going to select the outfit blue joggers, the one that I want the helmet on. I was about to walk away and then I thought, wait a minute, I can put the glasses on now. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna put on some blue glasses, something that'll kind of match the outfit. So blue right there, back on the interaction menu, and walk away, and there you go. The Tron helmet just, mer or just, you know, I guess merged on kinda, but yeah, just kind of put on there and then boom, glitched on. Now I got the glitched on glasses as well, and you can go ahead and save this outfit. And that is a pretty cool outfit, I'm not gonna lie right there. So yeah, it's a lot of steps, guys, but that's what you have to do just to get one merge component. If you wanted to just, uh, like basically, I just did all that just to get race gloves. If you wanted to get Tron shoes, you'd have to do all of that, but instead of selecting the uh, the biker suit at that point, you know, at the very end to merge, you'd have to select the Tron suit to merge, okay? Because you needed the, uh, you know, the shoes from the, bot uh, from the bottoms. So it's a hell of a glitch, guys. I'm gonna be practicing with this more and more th so that I can make better tutorials for you, but this was my first merge glitch tutorial. Take it easy on me. 
it's uh it's pretty confusing i'm not gonna lie i suggest practicing with the regular apartments glitch you know getting uh you know merged out or sorry not merged transferred outfits just from the female make some checkerboards and then you can kind of dive into this first i made checkerboards for a, a few months before i even dove into this part okay but yeah that's pretty much how you merge guys that was just one component okay to merge so it does take a while it took me like four hours to come up with this outfit right here today so it does take a bit of time all right so that's gonna be it for me i hope you guys learned something from this video i really hope you do because i learned a lot and i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to slap that like button by hitting the blue thumbs up comment down below subscribe to me by hitting the big red button if you're new and turn on them post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope gta 5 online content peace out everybody and have a good night